Good evening, everybody, um, and welcome to the third class of Shabbat Nusach of Eti Amud. Um, so just a little recap. In the last uh, two classes, we talked and we learned the Nusach for Shacharit and Musaf of Shabbat. And today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on Kabbalat Shabbat and the Mari for Friday night. Um, and I would like to jump right into that. So it's interesting and it's important to note that the Kabbalah Shabbat and the Ma'ariv service are two different services. They differ both from halachic perspective, structure, um, historic background, and of course, uh, the music, the Nusach itself. So let's talk about the uh, Kabbalah Shabbat. Kabbalah Shabbat service is the newest service that we have in our liturgy. It started uh, with, the, um, with the influence of the Kabbalists that was their practice in Tzfat. And basically what we're talking about, if you count with me, so one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> um, six Psalms, Right, so we have uh, Psalm uh, 95, 96, 97, um, 98, 99, and then we go into 29. Now, the Kabbalists actually uh, made references, and, they, and the idea was that um, that service is supposed to use as a um, preparation for Shabbat get us in the mood for Shabbat. They used to go out in the field and, 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 and uh, meditate and sing and dance and all that kind of stuff, welcoming Shabbat, getting into that mindset of Shabbat. Now, what they said was that each of the Psalms actually represent one day of the week. Hence, mm -hmm. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then, so Friday is Psalm, 29. Okay, there's a lot of references why specifically that and all that kind of stuff. And then it happened, then what we do is we sing Lechadodi, right? Lechadodi, very famous um, uh, poet written by Rabbi Shlomo um, El Kavet Salevi, and the acronym of his name is in the different stanzas Shlomo Halevi, right? And after that, basically what we come is to Psalm 92 and 93. Now, if you remember, when Shabbat, when Friday coincide with a holiday, whether it's a Chola Moed, whether it's together coincide with the holiday itself, etc., we skip, at least in Nusach Ashkenaz, we skip Kabbalah Shabbat and we jump right into Psalm 92 and 93. Why is that? Because you don't need all that extra mental preparation in order to get into Shabbat because you are already in a elevated um, place, so to say, spiritually, because it's Cholamoyed, for example, right? And then you don't need all that extra uh, preparation, mental preparation. And the Kabbalah Shabbat from Halachic perspective is Psalm 92-93. So, this is the time in which we accept Shabbat. That becomes very crucial during the summer when we actually daven early, right? So on, in the summer, we, um, we accept Shabbat early, right? And you can do that theoretically from the time of Plag HaMincha. I don't want to go into that, but any um, app, or calendar with halachic times will tell you where is that. Plaga Mincha is basically the midpoint of the time that we have in the day to recite Mincha. From the earliest to the latest, so it's kind of the midpoint. Um, and by reciting Psalm 92, this is where we accept Shabbat upon ourselves. So even though it's not technically Shabbat outside, it's Shabbat for me because I recited Psalm 92. Okay? 
women who do not go to shul on Friday night and do not recite Psalm 92, they have a specific mitzvah. And with that mitzvah, they accept Shabbat and there's of course candle lighting. So even if it's not Shabbat technically, they can accept Shabbat earlier again, as early as Plaga Mincha by lighting Shabbat candles. But men do that by with the recitation of Psalm 92. And since this is a, uh, a service that doesn't require um, a minyan, and actually the practice in some of the yeshivot is that everybody, everyone does that for themselves. They read those psalms slowly in their own tempo, getting into the mood and that kind of stuff. It's not led by a chazan in some of the yeshivot. Um, because it has a, it doesn't have any the what we call the Vashi Bikdusha, doesn't have a Kaddish, doesn't have Kedusha, doesn't have a Barhu, any of that stuff that requires a minion. And therefore, and this is um, I'm proud to say that that's our practice here at Bacheco, that we have kids uh, very often leading that part, right? Because you do not require a minion, and therefore, if you don't require a minion, you can do that also with somebody under bar mitzvah. Okay, so with that in mind, we're going to jump right into the uh, Nusach itself. So the Nusach itself for Kabbalat Shabbat is a Mixolydian one. It's to some extent similar to the one we have for Shabbat morning, the repetition of the Amidah. Baruch pa, 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 pa. Right, the major type of nusach that we're going to have here on Kabbalah Shabbat as well. So, um, the simple, most simple way to do that. <speaking in Hebrew> That was the first psalm on page 3.8, now 3.08, now on 3.10. Not to be confused with uh, what we have at the top of 312, Right, the fourth psalm, so the second and the fourth psalm, both have the phrase kiva lishpot. Lifnei Adonai, kiva lishpot haaretz. Don't get confused. It appears both psalms, but on Psalm um, 96, it comes twice. We say lifnei Adonai, kiva, kiva lishpot haaretz. The word kiva Two words come twice. In Psalm uh, 98, Lifne Adonai Kiva Lishpot Haaretz. It's only once. Okay? Just make a mental note of that. I'm in the bottom of 310 with the third Psalm. Oh, have Adonai Sinura, Shomer Nafshot Hasidal. Okay, very simple major um, melody. Next one. 
לפני אדוני קיווה לשפוט הארץ. ישפוט תבל בצדק ועמים במישרים. Some places have, uh, actually I think it's an English tradition uh, to sing together, kind of a quasi congregation singing in the last pasuk. So for example, or before that, or top of 310. And I'm going back to the first psalm. It's kind of a nice melody that repeats itself as exactly the same thing uh, to finish off each of the psalms. Okay, then we come to the bottom of 312 with the fifth psalm. <laughs> Adonai lo einu atanitam, el no se ayita laem, venokem ala lilotam. Romemo Adonai lo einu, vishahavu lehar kodesho. Here are two options how to end that. One is the regular. Ki kados. Adonai Eloheinu. I'm still in that major. Pa, 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 pa. The other one, which I like personally, is to switch to the minor key. Why do I do that? It's because the next psalm on page 314, the Psalm 29, is already in the minor key. So therefore, I would switch. In the minor. Okay, so now I'm uh, Psalm 29. And here, many people make that mistake, but it's wrong. And he's callous. Okay, so be careful of the phrasing. Okay. Another tiny thing that I hear very often people do. Which is not really accurate. Adonai yevarech et amo v'shalom. Bashalom is a description how that blessing is going to take place. Shalom. Through the form of Shalom. It's not that Adonai Varechet Amo, God is going to bless his. Um, it's not, it's not um, Adonai Yosla Amo. Adonai Varechet, Adonai Varechet, God is going to bless his people in peace. No, with peace, right? So it's not that. God is going to bless his people. How? With peace. Okay. Um, and here, the art scroll, just like many other siddurim, do not have like a comma there. So this is why I'm mentioning that. Okay. Okay. Then we come to Lechadudi, and here, there's so many melodies. Um, any melody almost works here. I'm not going to bother with that. It's whatever you want. Old melodies, new melodies, 
whatever melody is, any, any, any type of melody almost is going to work there. Okay, there's a custom. Some places do that, some places don't, that, don't do that. To switch in Lote Voshi, right? Second, second paragraph on 318, to switch the melody in Lote Voshi. Where this is coming from? So if you remember, I said that Psalm 29 represents Friday. So we have Sunday through Friday, right? So now what happens is Psalm, the next Psalm, i.e. Psalm 92 is going to be already, if we already read the Psalm that represents Friday, that means that the next one is going to be representing Shabbat, right? Logically, thank you. So what happens in between though, between Friday and Shabbat is we have Lechadodi. Right? So that means that time in between, which is the time of Kabbalah Shabbat, because the time of Kabbalah Shabbat is, we already light candles, but we haven't done Mari. Right? It's that time, Ben Mashot. It's like in between. Right? So this is actually where the transition from Friday to Shabbat happens, right? Once you recite Psalm 92, for you it's Shabbat, period. Now, if you happen to daven late, and of course it's Shabbat. I mean, you can't control, like, you know, sunset is sunset. But I'm saying, in case you do it before, so it's the time that you recite Psalm 92, assuming it's after the plug. The midpoint, the earliest you can do is plug. Otherwise, what? I'm going to make Shabbat already on Thursday? No, it's like, it doesn't work, right? Okay, so what is this idea? So if this is the time in which like the day changes into the night, Friday becomes into Shabbat. It's very mystical. There's a lot of, you know, Kabbalistic stuff going on over there. But what happens is it happens like during that time of Lechadodi. That's what I'm saying, right? The logic at least, right? So that means I need to show that change. I need to show that change. And therefore the practice has become to change the melody. To show that there's like a difference. And it used to be that you start with kind of a slow melody. And the Lotte Boshi becomes like really energetic melody. Today, most people forgot about that though, or don't know that practice. And therefore, sometimes what we do is we sing like, we start with a, even energetic, fast melody. And we, then we go to kind of a draggy one in Lotte Boshi, which is kind of, but it's still a change. Right? It's still a change. And, but that's the source of that custom to change the melody. You don't have to do that. Anyway, put that as a footnote. Ne yes. No, so now we're in the, in the mode in terms of like the Nusach, just like uh, the previous one of, nine, of 29. Okay. So now I'm page 320. Sadi <laughs> I don't like it when people say Turi Velo Avlata or Turi Velo Avlata and then Bo. It's like the, the, the phrase is Turi Velo Avlata Bo. Okay. Psalm 93 is the same melody. Mikolot Mayim Rabbi Madirim. Mishbereyam Adir Bamaro Madonai Edotecha Nemnu Meod Levetchana Bakodesh 
Adonai leoret yamim. Now, if you remember, that's basically our Kabbalah Shabbat. Now, if you remember, I said it's a new service. We have kind of more flexibility. We don't require a mini and all that kind of stuff. And from that, basically came, I think, this idea, the practice that people are more comfortable with singing more stuff or doing other nushaot and stuff like that. So, for example, Adonai Malach, there is a practice to sing it. Uh, Adonai Malach, right? And some minyanim, for example, um, they do a Kalibach, which is like really a big hit in the last 15, 20 years or so, right? I'm going to do it very quickly just to give you a taste of it. It's not really the traditional Nusach, but it's based on the traditional Nusach. So if I said that the Nusach was in major, Shlomo Kalibach did his Nusach also in major. <laughs> Okay, then most places that do Kalibach Nusach would sing a Kalibach melody here. Shirul Adonai, Shir Chadah, Shirul Adonai, Kol Haaretz, etc. Um, okay. Um, the next one, I didn't skip anything. Uh, I'm not there yet. I went back to the beginning of Kabbalah Shabbat. Okay, and then I'm I'm at three ten in the and the three ten in the bottom. Um, Again, it's 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 a Kalibach melody that people usually do in a Kalibach minion. And you see, it's a major key. Pa, 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 pa. Another melody. Whatever. Okay. Um, just since we're doing the, the Kalibach Nusach, we should just like finish it. Um, bottom of 312. It's a famous Kalibach tune. Moshe Aaron Ushmuel bekorei shemho, korim el Adonai, vehu yanem, veamudanan yedaber aleyem, 
שמרו עדותיו, ועוד נתן לבו, אדוני אלוהינו, עתן איתם, אל נושא היית להם, ונוגם על עלילותם, רוממו אדוני אלוהינו. וישרחו להר קודשו, כי קדוש אדוני אלוהי That leads you into Psalm 29, which is in Kali Bach Nusach, or actually many others sing it as well, um, the, the very famous melody of Kali Bach. ואמי יזמור לרב אביר האולנו נמד אלי, אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
90% of the synagogues, you're not going to hear them. So, so, okay. So the Nusach is this. And then the congregation repeats and then their answers. And then after that, the Chazan um, repeats. Now, if I want to be really accurate, that there's a motif that I didn't do here. But most people nowadays, unfortunately, don't do that. Um, or if you can, that's great. If you cannot, it's not the end of the world. At the end of the Shema, page 334. Adonai the minor key as from Psalm 29. Moshe Israel Rau <laughs> Israel. And here, in the end of Ashkivenu, just pay attention to the Chatima, the end of the Baracha is different than weekdays. On weekdays we say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Shomer Amo Yisrael Ad. Here, Baruch Atah Hashem, Akore Sukkat Shalom Aleinu, Val Kol Amo Yisrael, Val Yerushalayim. The idea behind it is on Shabbat, we have this extra protection, right? And therefore, the sukkah represents that protection, and therefore we bring it here um, uh, again, because we say, we say it in the beginning, right? So this is what we call bracha, me'ein ha-bracha b'chatima. That means what I, I have a recap of the bracha in the chatima at the conclusion of the bracha. Second line from uh, the top on 336. Here, we have the Pesukim Veshamu, by the way, not all the places do that. Um, synagogues that follow the Nusach, the Minhag of the Gra, do not recite uh, Veshamu, but most places do. Um, simple Nusach. Kishet Yamim Yes, sometimes you can sing it here, whether it's a Kalibach melody, right? or other melodies, it doesn't matter. But the Nusach itself is just like the Arvit. Da, 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 da. Okay, 
And here we go into the Kaddish, the half Kaddish. And here the melody is the melody that a lot of you are familiar with. Okay, then we go to a silent Amida. And after the silent Amida, we have again the Psukim or Vayechulu. It's actually an interesting uh, phenomenon because we just say that. We just say that as the second paragraph of Kiddushat Ayom on 340. And we're going to say it third time in the Kiddush. Okay, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, we say it together as a community, right? So the first time we said it is Belachash in the Amidah by ourselves. Now we say it together as a community, right? Now, we come to a, like a tiny, what seems like a tiny repetition of the Amidah, like a mini version of repetition of the Amidah. Why do we do that is an interesting uh, uh, explanation. It has to do with safety. It has to do with historic reasons. Basically, we don't want people to walk on their own so that was um, kind of a time filler for those uh, who took their time and daven the Amida for longer time. It has to, you know, it's, it's very interesting. Um, that everybody's going to finish at the same time and walk together to uh, home because it was not safe. Uh, there's a lot of other explanations, but, you know. So what's important to note is Unlike in the repetition of the Amidah on Shacharit and Musaf, where we bow down, here it's not really technically here, so we don't do that. Okay, now what's really cool is if you look at that sec, because it's not an Amid it's not a repetition of the Amidah, it's not. It's. Ah, exactly. We don't, we never repeat the Amidah in Mari. Correct. That's it. Okay. So, Asher bar Elohim la'asot Baruch atadonam Elokeinu v'loke avoteinu Eloke Abraham, Eloke Yitzchak Eloke Yaakov El Agadol Egevor v'anorra El Elyon Everybody sing Magen Avot. And what's cool about that, that um, you're going to find all the elements in that little section, you're going to find all the elements of the Amidah in that paragraph of Magen Avot. Right? So the first bracha of the Amidah is Avot. Right? Right? Eloheinu velo yavoteinu. This is how we start the Amidah. Right? So magen avot. And what's the word magen? How do we finish the how we finish the first bracha of the Amidah? Baruch Hashem, magen Avraham. Right? So this is magen avot. Mechayem eitim atayibor lo'olam adoshem mechayem eitim atarav lo'oshia. Mechayem eitim. It's right there. That's the theme. Right? The third the third, the, the third part is Ha'el HaKadosh 
האל הקדוש. What's the third ברכה בני המידה? אתה קדוש, ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום יעלה לוח אחד. ברוך אתה השם, האל הקדוש. And then, המניח לעמו ביום שבת קודשו, כי בם רצה להניח להם, all that stuff has to do with קדושת היום, with the middle ברכה, it's talking about שבת, just like the middle ברכה of the עמידה, right? I'm going to skip to אל ההודעות. What's אל ההודעות? Comes from the word הודעה, הודעה מודים. אדון השלום. What's שלום? שים שלום, או שלום רב. Right? And then just before that, I'm sorry, I forgot. לפניו נעבוד ביראב הפעם. What's the עבודה? It's רצה. It's called עבודה. So you see, yeah, right? עבודה, עבודה, עבודה. No. רצה השם אלוקינו בעמך ישראל ובי תפילתם. How it's called? The service. עבודה is, is not עבודה is work. עבודה is the service in, no, in the Beit HaMikdash. We ask for, so that's called עבודה. לפניו, נעבוד. So it's in, in that little paragraph, the Magen Avot, you have all the elements of the Amidah. Pretty cool. Okay, then everybody sings that, right? That's this famous Lewandowski uh, melody. Magen Avot, Bidvaro, Mechayem, Etim, Emamaro, Ela Kadosh, Ein Kamo, Hameniach Lamo, Beyom Shabbat Kocho, Kivam Ratsa, Leaniach Lahem, Lepanav Navod, Bidav Afachad, Benodel Ishmo, Vechol Yom, Tamid, Mein Avrachot, אל ההודעות אדון השלום מקדש השבת ומראש שביעי ומניח בקדושה להם את דושני עונג זכר למעשה וראשית. Then you continue אלוקינו אלוקי אבותינו רצה במנוחתנו. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, of מגן אבות, not the army. Of מגן אבות. It's not. Yeah, it's correct because it's not the Amidah. It's Magen Avot. Yes, but uh, the next paragraph, the flip to 348, that comes right after Magen Avot. Okay? Elokeinu, Elokei Avoteinu, רצה במנוחתנו, קדשנו במצוותיך, ותן חלקנו בתורתך, סבינו מטובך, ושמחנו בשועתך, ותאר ליבנו לעובדך באמת. והנחילנו אותו שם אלוקינו באהבה וברצון, שבת קודשך, וינוחו בה ישראל. מקדשי שמך, ברוך אתה הרושם, מקדש השבת. Here we come to the full Kaddish, as I said, full Kaddish always follows an Amidah. Correct. And this is just like the way we do full Kaddish, pretty much almost always. יר גדל ויר קדש מירב עד מייג'ר קודה רה 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 רה. ועל מה דברה חירותי ועם נחמד חוטי וחי יכולו ומכון וחי דחו לבית ישראל ועגלה וזמן קריב ימרו אמן. Because we have an extension, some sort of a mini repetition, an extension for, again, historic reasons. Read the footnotes over there. Um, why we have that. Again, it has to do with safety and that kind of stuff, okay? But, so that, and then in Chutzlar, it's mainly, in, in Israel, they don't do that, and also in Chutzlar, it's many places don't do that. They have, uh, we do Kiddush, that has to do also with historic reasons where travelers used to spend Shabbat at the shul sometimes, so this is why, where they already have Kiddush, and then it's Aleinu, and that's it, that's the end of the service. So, um, Next week, we're going to have our 
concluding class that's going to be about Mincha, Shabbat Mincha, the Nusach of Shabbat Mincha. Um, and this is it for today. So I'm going to do this.